Hey guys, Adam Savage here in my cave with a show and tell about calipers again. This is gonna be a quickie one, but it, it, it's part of the shop process, so I thought I'd wheel you into it. Um, these are my two main bread and butter calipers. They're brown and sharps. They are uh, 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 imperial measurements. Uh, and this is my Midutoyo uh, uh, metric calipers. And these are the three workhorses. This one gets a little less use, but these two I'm just picking up constantly every day, all day long. And among the, uh, let's just again cover what calipers can do. They can measure in multiple different ways. They can measure the outside of something between these two jaws and they're highly ground and sharpened. Uh, it can measure the inside of things with uh, these two jaws. It can measure the depth of things with this end piece right here. Um, and yeah, I know some of you are already yelling at the screen because I see your comments in the caliper videos. The step, it can also measure a step. Oh, right, so sorry. <laughs> Using these two pieces uh, right here, uh, the difference between these can be measured and it's like a depth meter, but it'll allow you to measure a step really nice and square. I'm sorry I forgot talking about the step last time. Everyone can be happy now that I've talked about it. These bread and butter calipers, I also use in a fast and loose way when I'm doing layout on aluminum. And I, you've seen me do this countless times on the channel, but I'll have a critical measurement. Let's say it's 400 thousandths and I'll dial it into there. There's 400 thousandths and I will want to make a mark that is exactly 400 thousandths from the edge, and I will just use one jaw as a guide and the other as a scribe. Machinists the world over do this. However, recently upon gazing lovingly upon my calipers, I had to admit that they're a little worn out. That after um, a collective 20 years uh, across both of them of doing this, I can see that the ends are duller of both of these, and I can see where it's worn. Now that doesn't mean I'm gonna retire these. They're still quite useful. Um, and truth be told, when you're doing highly precise work, these get you in the ballpark, right? They're not for final perfect measurements of highly precise things sub 1,000th. Um, they get you in the ballpark. So these are gonna stay in rotation. I'll probably have one live at each machine, but this video is about the fact that I've decided for the first time in, I think 20 years to buy a brand new pair of uh, digital, of dial calipers. And I have gone with Starrett, 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 I think. Um, and I have bought a beautiful set of six inch Starrett dial calipers I'm going to peel off the, with some Mr. Tweezer Man tweezers. Oh, oh yeah. Yay. It's funny. I know that there are things in here that I've spent a lot of dough on. You know, I just did a show and tell of a, a acetone dispenser that was 60 bucks. Um, but it took a lot for me to pull the trigger and spend the 135 bucks on a brand new pair of dial calipers. Um, but it also, it speaks to a, an interesting part of shop practice, which is that over time that you get good with the tools that you have, you often end up with A string and B string tools. You end up with the B string, send me out on location coach tools of like, I don't really mind if this gets dropped by a production assistant kind of tools. And then you have your like, everyone stand back, I'm going to pull out the good stuff kind of tools. And that's where this is going to live for right now. I am not going to have this sitting upright on the uh, 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 first order retrievability cart. It's going to stay labeled in my nice special machine, machine tools cart for the nice layout. Um, yeah, that's it. Like I said, it was going to be a quick one, <clears throat> but I didn't want to pull this out and put it into rotation without letting you know uh, about this practice, right? Of, of slowly upgrading your tools over time. Uh, and you know, you might think that I do a ton of upgrading all the time. And the answer is I, I don't actually, it took me a long time to come to this, to, to get around to doing it. Uh, but I'm really pleased they feel like just, sorry. Yeah. Holding a brand new pair of precision ground calipers. It's just feels really good in your hand. And one of the things about 
the major makers like Starrett and Brown and Sharp and Midu Toyo, um, their stuff just feels fantastic in your hand. The gearing, the way it's been oiled, the way it's been tuned, lovely. All right, we're gonna put this into rotation and get to work. It won't fit there? Wait a minute, how about there? There we go. Oh, I'm gonna have to find a home for that. All right, thanks guys. I will see you next time. Adam out.